Welcome everyone to more live Linux kernel development live on our channel. Let's hope it works now a little bit delayed because I had some technical difficulties and today with live capture from a second machine, of course, to the P3. So today we will fi try to find a bug regression in probably some kind of Linux block subsystem multi queue thing or just uh, drivers using stuff wrong. Let's also hope it works now. It's basically Fingers crossed on Ah, okay. It's, it did something. Yay. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, this, oops, by the way, this, this is another regression. You can't make this stuff up. This, this is a generic PowerPC reg regression. I know for this about for probably a year or two. Actually, I'm not sure if it's fixed. Okay, I mean, it was a regression back in the day, some year ago. Let's later see if that is still a main. Line. Anyway, so today, we noticed the other day. Uh, some block layer drivers are broken, at least the P3 driver for probably, what is it, a year or two. And so what happens, so this, this version should work. Um, so basically I prepared everything, not to waste you an hour or so. Um, and so the problem is, and by the way today it's a little bit unsharp for me too, because yeah, whatever, uh, PS, PS3, uh, even, so uh, this is a cheap capture dongle, um, probably that. So yeah, this version works. So it's the expected result, right? Except the oops, ignores oops that is jitting in the kernel BPF. It's like a people programming C and, and doing C things. Okay, so this version works. So git uh, b sec, was it that? Uh, waiting, so waiting for good. So that is good. Um, waiting for bit commit. So one good commit noun. Um, so that is version 5.14 and so I spent an hour also last night, because of course I did, um, somewhere between 5.14 and 5.15 there is some regression that's at least affecting the P3, um, P storage driver. Maybe more as, as usual. And also, so, uh, yeah, it's like, check out, so 5.15, um, so that's a little bit messy and we need to force that because we have some changes here and also, um, Good. So we need to little, fiddle a little, little bit around, unfortunately, at least the first commits. Get check out, because we have some changes, unfortunately. Um, get status of RMZ. That, hopefully. Uh, let's press it, I hope this doesn't delete our... Oh shit, of course, it did. it's config. Ah, that's unfortunate. Uh, details. Um, what have I done here even? Not sure what I've done, probably something else. Uh, So that should be clean again, right? Um, so then we need to carefully reapply some patches. I should script that, but nah. So that applied. And at least um, some CC patch. That is stupid in the meantime in T2 because I. So, that is all we need here, and unfortunately, our, oh no, we, I didn't, this stuff did, 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 did not delete the config so far. So, then let's build that. Um, that will take a while, unfortunately, uh, five minutes or so. It should become faster. Uh, and welcome, everyone. Uh, error, or whatever. This, so, this should only be minor stuff. I mean, we could probably because I built proper kernels previously, we could reuse 5.15. That is closer, that should only give us very little changes, if not none. Yeah, firmware compressed, we don't need that. But maybe, yeah, this was the only one. Um, so that should build. So the only thing is, yeah, I could, we could speed this up a little bit further by caching that. I should just need to think shortly, uh, was there any other, probably not. I should quickly check because um, I had some delay modules. Okay, compressed now. Good. 
Um, yeah, so unfortunately we, we once need to build this, so this time between commits should significantly reduce. What is happening, um, recurring subscribers, you probably want to share, like, share, like and subscribe for all our work here between ARM, um, RISC and Power PC and everything and actually building a whole freaking Linux distribution, all right? Um, actually this worked, but we can, we can reboot already. So what is happening is that Uh, reboot via proc this request and we'll have complete here maybe okay why I, I, I just control why do I type so much um why do I even type so much if I control alt delete so what is happening is that somehow the block layer is not reading the right stuff. Um, I'm not sure how many sectors worked. Maybe only the first sectors, sector worked. Um, I suspect they must have... I mean, it could be anything, right? It could be some API changes that, of course, nobody ported to Power or P3 um, or other such drivers. And that's also my recurring criticism, right? It's only constant change and regressions. And what's not tested is broken, right? Recurring theme here, nobody tests the P3, it's broken. Um, and also, recurring, uh, like, the only constant is change and regressions. They change stuff and it breaks stuff, right? I, for 20 years, I'm, I'm in favor of writing good, clean, and beautiful, and, and perfect bug-free code, right? But what the Linux kernel people, as much, I'm, I'm running Linux distribution for 25 years, right? It's not like I'm a Windows developer, a Mac OS developer, and shouting it to Linux kernel developers. No, I'm, uh, for 25 years, Linux, uh, Linux distribution, and surrounding developer and also a kernel and other surrounding stuff and I would never do this in my own commercial software right just changing stuff sure we do cleanups like in our commercial software with extra code right don't delay do our amazing extra code stuff uh, today and so of course we do cleanups and even in T2 I do cleanups right in our Linux distribution if you're new to the stuff we run a Linux distribution supporting all CPU architectures ever supported in Linux but I would not constantly randomly change everything, right? Sure, it's not randomly, it's clean up and for good reason, but it's too much, right? For 20 years in the Linux kernel, it's too much. Basically, whenever someone feels like, hey, this should be named slightly different, this struct member should be slightly different, and people defend it like for performance, performance, more performance, but no, no accumulated changes over 25 years, just changing a struct member, naming something. For example, recently, they for even affecting the, the tiny little p3 storage driver it's so tiny they broke it and not or at least had to touch it two or three times because they constantly rename stuff right once they um they removed some function that will block delete whatever um I have to, uh, no i don't and so and the, 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 there was like blocked whatever that was you see it in the in the T2 history, right? And the new name is even stupid, or maybe they had they had both names and they deleted one, but so they had block delete whatever, disk disk delete block disk delete something, and um, that was a reasonable name. The, the new or secondary name that they always had is put disk or something. Like how is put disk a reasonable? Like the other name even made more sense. But um, the other thing is then yeah they removed some multi queue um, stop which apparently nobody except our nobody in the Linux kernel used anymore it's like hey it's not costing you performance like one reasonable function to stop a multi queue block layer multi queue um, and other such stuff right there was also another thing yeah yeah, the, yeah it's constantly stuff so what I've done I have a script here a helper script because we need we need an init ID Theoretically, you could build everything in just one VM Linux monolithic Linux kernel image, but I always like it's it's just more work to get a kernel so configured that it fully boots here. So um, the, the, the BSEC script here packs the init RD and copies it to a uh, reproducible name here. Yeah, this should. So let's hope it boots. Um, it should still boot because it's always the thing, right? Exotic machine and config and stuff. Also, by the way, you probably want to share, like, subscribe, give it a like and. and super thanks or sub membership or stuff for my extra efforts to capture you the because usually i'm too lazy and stuff but hey today you get video capture here so okay so um that's unfortunate um 
it works, but so the, the problem is, I have, oh, that's another bug. Um, it's the only constant change in bugs, right? So the kernel boots, that's a good thing. Um, it should have the bug, let's see, but I can't test it. I probably should script it differently because like every second or third time USB doesn't work, right? 2023 or better, the, the bug is like 2021. The bug is probably already two years old. Like, of course, only affecting the PS3, uh, maybe other systems, but it's like, yeah, I because they constantly change everything, right? And now every other boot, the uh, USB doesn't f come up early or whatever. It's like, yeah. So now we need to power toggle because I don't have software control. And we need to reboot just to have so that's also B secting and then even your USB keyboard doesn't work reliable. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Probably <laughs> like shall I subscribe and extra Patreon stuff if you want me to bisect the bloody USB problem, which is of course twice as annoying because not only like half of the time reproducible. And that bugs are of course uh, wow, that is is it the same JIT thing or um, so for me it's also un unsharp um, because it's a cheap garbage capture dongle, some some 29 or 19 euro. Why is this in frame buffer? Not sure I've seen that often. Anyway, okay, so this time you see we, we just rebooted the same kernel. We, we got another oops, yeah. but also this time USB works. So let's see disk type. I use disk type just as a test program. Um, PS3 DD, yeah, that's probably, yeah. So that, that's a bug because disk type should print the file, file type and it doesn't. So this is only one, by the way, are we, why is this, why is this? USB capture stuttering. Ah, anyway, so yeah, that is that is the test. So we, um, if we, uh, you see, disk type can detect this as X1. So there is something strange going on. Maybe miss merge request, multiple requests. I have no idea. Um, that broke, at least in that flavor how we run the P3 storage driver. With, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, B sec. The next thing is like we, of course, we ignore. Oops. Uh, I want to touch my multi-input thing on the display. <laughs> I'm not used to having this fancy screen capture. So git b sect bad. So the problem is, um, does it? Um, yeah, um, b secting revisions left uh, would overwritten by checkout. Does it git? Uh, also, yeah, yeah, this is the way I run this in the debug environment, a little bit side effect. Does is git now in a state that it would check out that if we, oops, check out, is it? Mm, I would hope it is in this, let's, yeah, so let's, let's redo the patchery. a little bit annoying but that comes so that is why you normally would um, how did I how did I previously do that um, oh wait they're untracked um, good status so this is why you want all your stuff upstream the reason is the original people never send it upstream was means they're very astute by Sony right? uh, that certainly was pretty shitty thing and where is it? What is it? Uh, uh, yeah, that's a little bit annoying now. Let's maybe grab for a slash. Is that enough for edit option? Come on. Where is I get commit A? Ah, come on. Mm. No changes to commit, use git it or commit. No, no, thank you much. Grab revert no changes. So, ah oh shit, was it modified? Nothing like. What do we have here? Untracked files. Um, so it's just a little bit cleanup of getting this 
I, I should probably somehow script it. We probably don't have that soon, as soon as the changes become smaller between uh, b sects. <sighs> untracked, untracked. Um, why did this not delete that? So. So this should be completely clean now. Only B-secting, nothing to commit. Let's patch the stuff again. And probably uh, Evo, let's rebuild it. Let's hope so yeah, we of course I cross compile this on a Ryzen 1750X. Uh, I think the build time is like six or five minutes. Um, if we get closer, okay, this was yeah, you see, we get we get closer closer to the B sector. So this was somewhere in the middle of whatever. Div sixty four missing no stack had executable stack. British protocol. Hmm. I hope that doesn't break something. It might. It probably should have been there previously. Just it scrolled by by previous messages, I guess. Um. So that probably, so the only things I could automate this first, right now I need to unplug the USB stick, plug it into my server here. Um, it's probably, sh oh, wrong keyboard. It probably should be fine. It's, did I forget anything? Those patches, that patch, the config was, yeah. So we could further automate this. I mean, on like x86, it would, I mean, if you can reproduce it in a virtual machine, you can just run it in QAMO KVM. Maybe even if you need hardware, use PCI uh, pass through um, with an IO MMU with, with recent x86, um, x86 QAMO KVM. But it's a P3, so we could even QAMO power PC even with KVM, even on stuff as old as in G4Q. But that is, uh, this bug is so far only occurring on P3, so. That's the thing. If you're the last man maintaining P3 and fixing P3 things, then you are the one who each quarter or each half year bisect some stupid thing. So that our oh, dividend reboot. That was pro tip. Control Alt Delete earlier. Doctor Old says grab RL. So uh, interesting. Need to try that. So yeah. Uh, oops. Ah, uh, wrong keyword. Uh, uh, press. Did I? Why? All right. Um, not sure. Uh, maybe I. Okay, maybe I full screen it. Can we start, please? Uh, so better not press a key here. Okay. We boot it. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I probably should change because so yeah, USB keyboard doesn't work. That is this. I mean, this USB stuff not working could also happen on x86 mainline, right? It's not like unheard of. We could modify our int RD to uh, probably I'll quickly do that. Then we save ourselves maybe half of the time um, init RD. So that is in root. We repack it from spin init RD init. Let's add here. By the way, this is also new. We don't. So we can just script it. So disk type dev ps 3 dd So then the next time we pack an init ID, it will just run that. Um, oh, YouTube update bit right, what you're saying. Um, I mean, maybe I'm overloading this USB hub. Um, oh, that's like, what is it, a 10? It's a five gig port. Yeah, I mean it's it is what it is. Illegal. What instruction? Um, what do we have here? Interrupt. So somehow we get some firmware. For, I mean, it could be fixed, right? We are debugging on an old kernel. All right. So yeah, this time USB works. So like yeah, I have this. Leave in the comments below if you have such amazing USB things on your system. <laughs> if if so, which PS three D D? Okay, that's broken. Amazing. You can already control or delete to. Um, so good, be sect that. 
2693. Uh, let's hope it is. So USB plug. It doesn't save the most time. Prob I should probably should revert to doing that when we compile. Um, So we best should automatically, what you're saying, you're saying grab list of files named only grab rl pipe with xarc 0 rm. Nah, I'm not sure what you're up to. So um, I mean, we, you know what we probably... That's probably fine. Get status. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Let's hope this checks out everything. Not that we'd be sect here some nonsense because I mean, we probably don't need to delete those. It should. I mean, maybe the next time I should revert it before. Uh, okay, let's, let's see what happens. I only not that we. It's happened already. Sometimes I deep, I bisect stuff for one hour and then. Um, that was not what we were supposed to bisect. So. I wonder that it compiles more now. Should get bisect now? Not half that precisely in the. Middle of stuff. Probably time for okay, the next time we build. Okay, maybe not oh, build quite, quite long still. So I'll some drink. Lucky wonder why I previously didn't build so long. That was a little bit. So what do we have there? Don't remember on S on P3 having so much USB problems. Yeah, I, I think that is new. I'm I think when I started to to maintain those patches four years ago here live on YouTube, I believe it did work stable. I believe that is uh, also new regression. Maybe the next time. I should uh, immediately be sected because now years later it's like yeah good luck finding when it was even reintroduced. Uh, though is mine older? That is a DECR. Um, it doesn't have all those. Um, this this is a DECR 1400. Uh, development tool. My other is a FAT with indeed all of those. This development tool looks like that, but has here unfortunately this. Uh, this is fixed as far as I can see. Ah, we built something. So let's uh, run our BSEC script for repacking the init RD. Um, uh, That is probably prepared. Oh wait, it didn't build here. VDSO offset undeclared. Oh cool, why does this shit fail? Oh, you got a kid at me. <sighs> you bisect a bloody kernel and this 
they even had bugs in between or what shit. So that's of course another worst case um, when the upstream people broke stuff, right? Uh, what is, don't know, I'll skip. Get. Ah, shit. Mm. Unfortunately, so let's try better revert that first. Get skip. Um, be select skip shit. Uh, patch, patch. We should script that. Um, It's also, I'm not a fan of this behavior of make. You build some stuff. No flesh. Did I not build with this? Why does it ask no flesh? Did I build without all the patches? Yeah, you want to automate this the most. I thought I had this already automated enough. I mean, I was aware of the firmware clutter compressor, some random stuff. Uh, this config, of course, also, if you merge between 12,000 commits or something, of course, you constantly get config changes. Yeah, you want to automate the heck out of it. I thought I automated enough, but apparently not really enough. We could speed it further with C caching that, right? We could theoretically try that. Maybe next time I should, uh, probably, by the way. We could bridge this time. I mean, usually I would not answer some emails, develop some other software. See cache. Uh, we can at least check. Is there a new version? 4.8.2. 4.8.2, no, that's the latest version. 20. Yeah, it's even pretty new. Um, yeah, let's emerge that because why not? Uh, so what C cache cache does if you're new to this stuff, uh, also best with the typos, not CCC. It's a chaos computer club here. Um, what that does is caching the compiler output to further speed up the build. I guess it did build because otherwise it would probably not. Is it not posting the modules? Maybe it does. Yeah, C cache. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, and that is why the other day's video, right? Addicted to performance because the only substitute for, 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 for performance is more performance. We could further um, speed it up, right? If we just disable some major subsystems that we don't need, like uh, even audio or, um, I mean, not that the bug goes away, right? But we're debugging a storage bug. We could disable audio, multimedia and whatnot um, and, and firewalling and, and all this stuff and probably half the build time. But I usually don't do that um, because often it's like, I spent more time going through config and disabling stuff than it's actually worse uh, doing good to C cache. So. Probably want to do C cache. Yeah. So we rebooted, right? We have the USB stick in there. So another thing we could further automate it. I mean, if you extremely wanted to automate it, you the next step would be network boot, right? I'm either running a network boot server here locally, just on those files. Um, and also, if you would do that on an embedded board or something, um, on a, I mean, you could even do it on a P3, like automate it with some Raspberry Pi or whatnot, or even Reno or whatever, power cycling this stuff, right? Like if your server crashes, um, right? Sure, you could script advanced lights out management um, stuff also. But if you don't have, like if you have a media, um, embedded board with usually with all that or desktop or entry level server stuff that doesn't have at once lights out management stuff um, IPME and, and other so, so, such stuff you could just script it right have a USB switchable power supply um, uh, power switch um, and toggle that right you, you really could script everything if I would do I mean even I'm at the verge of of implementing that here right like to, I mean, not necessarily with a P3. I could, actually I could power cycle it, right? Just switch on. And of course you could glue um, a switch, some kind of switch on 
um, on the power button of the P3. Let's hope we don't bisect something again and have some garbage result because it means this manual patch stuff here is a little bit error prone, that, that sucks a bit. I also might want to speed up our init ID creation, that, that should be more parallelized. That is a little bit slowish, also single threaded and stuff. Probably should find some ways to further. That would of course rock if our init ID creation wouldn't take 15 seconds, but only 5 or so, or, or 2 and a half on such hardware here. But here, yeah, further means to um, automate that. But today I want to just find the bug and not automate that here. So I always need to be careful to use the right keyboard because otherwise if I if I do this here then sometimes I <laughs> type in the wrong keyboard. P3 again, do you have a build, a farm? No, we we um, just cross compiled, right? We are not like Debian who need what was it, eight or twelve unmatched risk five. We have one unmatched risk five. Um, Okay, the keyboard works. Okay, this oh yeah, this is still broken because it says type Linux and not it should say X3. Can't read that. Just dev PS3 DD. Yeah, that is broken. So it should as uh, as mentioned earlier, that should say X3. As it I mean as it can read this, so there must be yeah, whatever this multi commits. Fusion offsets, what my uh, keyboard. <sighs> Good. So if we're not like Debian who building everything natively, we, we are smart, right? We have one epic thread dripping Ryzen. And that is why we can cross compile everything from ARM to RISC-5 here in our if you're new to our channel, we run a Linux distribution for 25 years, right? We just cross compile everything. And sure, we, we spend over a decade, we spend enormous resources. To cross comp set up all the cross compilation stuff, but um, once done, but you know what? I should at the end of this, I should actually set plus e. Is that actually and set plus x? So. Um, Okay, so get bsect bet. So 3000. Um, patches again, that patch. I should script it. I probably should script repatch and unpatch or something. So for those patches. Ah, oh shit, this file was there. Damn it. So much to I don't need to delete it. Had to delete it. Check out Earth for patch. Ah, kernel CC there. Um, all right, we wanted CC cache, right? Let's see CC cache. I believe that should work with what is our. Okay, CC here. So, does it work with okay, CC equals? Do you know what theoretically? Yeah. In I changed already. The new builds of T2 since a year don't use this KCC uh, like that anymore. So, C cache KCC does that look? Oh, so best with a typo. Cash. Did it work like that? Compile is not supported. Uh, okay, fine. Forgot how we used to use it. Didn't use it in a decade. Okay, 
Okay, come on, let's add this. C cache Linux kernel. We probably use the wrapper in T2. How do they use it here? Clear make um, cold cache, hot cache, where is C cache? C cache, check out clear, blah blah blah, cabled. Swap over compiler by using CC. Make which should work with ah uh, maybe because I evaled that so yeah it should have worked with C cache GCC maybe because we eval it then we um, let's eval maybe we need um, escape that maybe that works then. Um, welcome everyone who tuned in later. How are you doing well? Hope you're all doing well too. Have you considered some class and tutorials on how to fix some Linux stuff or at least feed where its learning curve seems steep? Um, I, I've considered some programming 101 stuff, but the problem is I don't really have really time. I mean, I want to have this fixed because in the meantime, like not fixing this bug even wasted some time in, in some ways here, even with the P3. And I don't want to keep releasing ISOs where stuff that we are supposed to support is broken. Um, if I would do tutorials now, like I would do stuff, like usually I live, st live stream my works that I need to do anyway, like working on our T2 Linux, making it more amazing, what we need, like if we have things that we want to have working better for our own infrastructure, for customer infrastructure, and so on, and um, and so forth. So I don't really have time to produce really polished uh, tutorials. I might, however, do some programming 101 series, but even for that, I'm aware that my production quality is not, probably not really high enough, uh, because I simply, like, on top of my day job and stuff, um, I like I I do this kinder on top of all my other stuff, right? So it's like because I'm aware like if I would like to really produce outstanding tutorial things, it easily takes like if you want to do it really proper, like easily today per t two days or even more, if you wanted to do it really nice, illustrated thing. What is the PowerPoint of LibreOffice? LibrePoint presenter. Um, things. So, yeah. And uh, but also what, I mean, I would hope that live streaming the work we do is um, helping people. Yeah, I mean, ironically, I may, maybe I should make a 15 minute live stream because so the thing is I don't have hours of producing pretty presentations. So that's why I currently still like until we have 100,000 subscribers on the Mormon channel, I want to subscribe the right. I probably should make a just 15 to 20 minutes live stream. Again, no time for pre edited videos of like just get b without such a embarrassingly massive code base that is a Linux kernel in this case. So maybe that, that would be a middle ground of although they are tutorials. So, but yeah, also the other FPGA. Yeah, I probably should. Maybe, yeah, I, re I realized this um, myself. Probably I would have grown the channel faster if we would have, instead of this many live streams, which are too long and maybe not as interested for many, um, would do smaller pre-edited videos. Um, yeah, but basically, as I said, it's, it's basically stuff I want to have working in our Linux distribution anyway. Also wrong keyboard. Um, Let's just add that here. As it was, was it CC? No, I need to check the I that. So just save it here for this run. CC that. Um, because that script is also in it already packing. Yeah, let's get, we get some result. I hope with C cache it's a build. 
building is then a little bit faster. Let's maybe check how much we had cash. What was it? C cash, clear cash, no, us. okay, SS. Let's uh, see what our statistics are in a second. Let's hope it saves it somewhere decent. Rex says maybe it's not that necessary. Serenity is good, popular, doing long. Ah, oh, you mean okay, the other way. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's see, cash. Uh, did we cash? Uh, something. Let's see, cash. Oh man, my typing. Okay, we got here some uncached calls. 17,000. Okay, we, we cached something. So it's good. So maybe the next builds are even more epic threat ripping. Here, ah, oh, there's so much to prepare, and I didn't. Did I said before? Yeah, once. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, this cheap capture dongle is slightly unsharp. I have no idea why. Overseas Asian cheap, no name quality. You get what you pay for. Maybe it's compression or like lossy or lossy, like not. It's this color space compression of, of stuff. Okay, this is also broken. Uh, okay, USB. Why is this, by the way? But yeah, I see it already. I mean, it's a little bit super flu that I still piece. Sorry, DD. Yeah, since it's still broken. It's, yeah, it, that's what, what, what we want to see, right? So, RM, Z, RM, Z. Good. Check out F. Git bsect. Oh, so many bsects. Bet. Patch. Patch. And build it. Let's see how faster. Uh, how faster. Command line, block command. Ah, oh, wrong keyboard. Too many keyboards. Open channel, SSD, microchip, uh, just some generations. Does it thread rip faster? No, it looks pretty fast. Scrolling to me. Probably should work on something in parallel. Okay, uh, we could reboot the. Uh, let's reboot. Yeah, this is pretty oops there. Which one was it? Uh, oh, no. Wonder where is it caching? Which I hope it's caching that's my surf partition. If it's caching that in home, probably maybe. If we are lucky, it's caching that here. I don't know. Cache. Ah, I see cache. Uh, that is a, yeah, so this cache is on a rate, so this should be on a rate zero. Uh, this should be a dual NVMe 4. So like 10. It's crazy how slow it is. It is, it's, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, bloat is real, right? Some 10, 10 gigabyte per second or so. Or nearly, or was it? How much gigabyte? Oh, or was it seven? Seven gigabyte? Does that make sense? Seven gigabyte per second, something like that ballpark. Yeah. Built so long, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, it might not cache that because just some changes to some headers and then 90% of your stuff already doesn't cache anymore, right? So. And if its files not changed, and maybe this C cache does not help the most in this case. Here, to be honest, maybe it actually make it could make it slower though, partially, like because it's hashing and comparing and stuff and uh, consideration. So much to if just some fancy tool does not always need to necessarily make it faster, right? Did we? I believe we rebooted and rebooted. It's 
growing so fast, I even can't read it. <laughs> even without video compression. Yeah. Quick mod posting. Good day, try open anything. Big tech files, notepad. This big mistake, always no matter. Computer. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should disable wireless also. Staging and whatnot. We should hopefully soon come to some range where we don't rebuild everything constantly. I'm really curious what kind of change in bucket is. But basically, ah, did I not plug? Ah, shit. Talk so much and then last minute I realized, last second I realized I didn't plug in USB. Um, yeah, I'm really curious what kind of change caused that. It must be some generic API change or whatnot. But I also realized yesterday, yesterday night I was wondering should I grow meditate this, but this kind of stuff, unless you are the subsystem maintainer and know precisely what you changed, it might be next to impossible to guru meditate this. That is certainly why the B setting was invented. Basically, systematically testing the changes until you know which change broke it. Yeah, certainly video capture here of the live system adds to the experience, otherwise it would be mighty boring. Hey, this works! You see, this time uh, we have this in the init already. already. So yeah, this time it prints a file system and then we can also mount it. So this works. So I'm, I'm not hallucinating. This is really broken. Um, should we um, script some unpatch? Get status. I probably should. You know what? We could simply Add this together already. Good check not F. Then we say get good. Ah. Be sect. That's good. Then patches again for this patch and the other. Patch. Let's see how much we cash. Lemonade for me. Qualcomm. Yeah. Random shit. I don't drink pool sugar, that is some mate tea stuff and I use half tap water, not only because I'm cheapskate, but also I don't want to have it less sweet and stuff. done soon. Absolutely crazy and I um, it wasted even time for me. I, I brought another developer tool a year ago. I didn't even make a probably need to make a sophisticated YouTube video. I'm, I'm also the proud owner of an DECR1000 so working on our P3 cluster and I didn't install our Linux there yet because when I got it last year and first I had this with, with a P3 scene, load a very custom firmware to even boot other OS on it, um, on the DECR1000. And I actually thought the hypervisor stuff is different, right? So because last year when I got it, I booted the latest T2 build stuff and it had the same symptoms of 
storage device not working as it should be. And I thought, darn, basically wasted already last year some hours on it without me realizing that this is a generic kernel bug, right? I thought, darn, there is something different with the DECR1000 hypervisor um, or the custom firmware otherwise patch is partially broken. Um, but no, it's my generic kernel bug. Here we are one year later. Could have already P3 cluster in operation. Yeah, should be faster from now on. We probably um, should we, we probably should work on have it. I promise I I didn't want to work on something else now. Um, not too because this is a little bit too fragile. I'd rather talk with you, but better ask me anything and we chat and stuff. Because I didn't want to mess it up, right? It's so easy, you work on something else. It's always set so easy, just multitask, right? But then you work on something else and then you make your one mistake and you ruin here in one hour of bisecting. It's just one typo, one one time, not one moment, not attention to all details and you get bisected something wrong. Which I hope we didn't have yet. Just was taking a look if I have my USB stick in there. Yeah, poor USB ports, mechanical exercise. Yeah. Yeah, da, da, da. And then we also need to fix it in some way, shape or form, understand. I mean, this is only half of the story. could also never have come to the idea that it's a gen some generic block layer, multi queue, whatever change. Ah, I didn't reboot. Yeah, another pro tip, if you wanted to automate this further, you could put automated testing stuff in your init RD payload, right? I'm even connecting to your server um, and registering, like even uploading the, the, if it didn't crash and stuff, uploading the whatever is broken and test result with whatever network means uh, you could. Or of course Siri console, right? If you do embedded stuff, embedded bot stuff, no, no network copy, just, oh, that's broken. Getting there, okay, USB works. But yeah, you see there that is just, uh, disk. I don't even quite know why I type this again. I have this already, but yeah. To include X3, it doesn't. So it's not reading. It's not reading the right blocks there. Let's maybe already reboot before we forget it. So uh, that was bad. Good status that um, or, um, you know, we could chain this all together then I don't need a unbesect patch we could just do that yep so that was bad only 460 commits left yay patch patch evil we could uh, in parallel check. Uh, not in parallel. Thank you much. Could in parallel check what is our cache utilization just for the C cache. C cache. We have not the most hits to be local. What is it? Cacheable calls. Local storage cache size hits misses. Why is cache size in gigabyte zero hits misses? And why does it say and why are ninety eight percent uncacheable calls? Hmm. I know what. Somehow, for whatever reason, it can also run with OC cache. If it ain't work, we don't need to waste 
CPU cycles caching stuff for. It should work, but it doesn't for whatever. I have no idea why it doesn't. Maybe we need. Um, I mean, I used that decades ago. Or do we need? No, we don't. We don't need to run clear. Ah, whatever. It's not important. We are, we are soon done anyway. So we rebooted already, right? Yeah, we are rebooted there. I should have ordered. Actually, I have on my Amazon watch list. Sometimes I watch also stuff for a year until it's in s on sale. This Elgato Camling 4K that I otherwise use for my moment camera was on sale some 30-ish percent off some months ago. I should. I nearly wanted to buy a second one because I knew this this thing here is a piece of unsharp, low quality stuff. Leave me in the comments below. How shitty is it? I mean, I could zoom it though. I um, know oh I can't zoom it because no, I can't easily zoom it unless I mean I could do it in M, M player. I use M player to play it there. Um, so USB stick is in. How much per left? Six hundred. Okay, can we do any other work here? What do we have nowhere to do? I can sort it to do. Um, I believe Valgrind I fixed, uh, so this we can delete. I implemented this also last night. I didn't test it, but I will probably find out if it doesn't work. What else? New step, cross tool. Yeah, all. Did I finish that? So, cross compiling util Linux with new mount stuff. Check cross compile util Linux with new mount stuff. I believe it. Probably should be fine. I remember this was a glibc in Linux header thing. You know what? I believe we could could probably delete that. Oh, here's update new mount and other syscalls. Did I commit this already? Okay, maybe let's leave it in. Hey, okay, we're done building. stream already. Yeah, of course one hour. Ain't much faster than two hours a bisect. Yeah, maybe I should have disabled multimedia stuff. Maybe we do so for the last bisect. I'm getting tired. Linux header, there was something. Did I commit that? No, I didn't. Um, I didn't find new regressions. I guess we could commit this here. Or did we? At least I, I did do some builds. Why is this building so much stuff? I thought we had this. Ah, because I run here with Seekash. Shit, wasted some time now. Yeah, welcome to partially built with Seekash and uh, very have stuff rebuilt. That was very clever. Alright, that's, that's that one here, I guess. I mean, let's check what if the... Ah, oh, we didn't build MIPS yet, but we built, built PowerPC. What is the minimal glibc thing now with this header? Checking for kernel header 3.2. Is it at 3.2? 
Yeah, we will see if this breaks over SG Octane. Hopefully not. I mean, we could have a MIP64 older overlay, but otherwise, it probably gives us some new kernel feature unlocking. Yeah, it would be slightly faster, but in the grand total scheme of things, we don't save much with another USB stick because it is a completely old piece of garbage USB stick. 15, 15 or so year old USB 2 USB stick. So, uh, but on the pro side, it's cheap plastic and doesn't scratch the precious P3. So. But yeah, whether the copy takes 4 seconds or 8 seconds, if you build 4 minutes, kind of doesn't really change much. Would be better to more automated network boot. Hey, that worked. I see already X X3 there, so that, that was able to read the correct blocks. Uh, git status that. Uh, so that is good. 247 left. Yay. Patch all this stuff again. Build all the stuff again. Let's hope it's faster. I mean, eventually it should build significantly faster, not rebuilding all the shit. Ah, uh, you know what? Kid. Let's multimedia here off. Where's some multimedia stuff? Let's disable some stuff. So yeah, that's me. Yeah, huh? it's the first thing. It's not reversed at the end. Uh, it's annoying. Let's disable some stuff. The staging we don't need. Sound wire. We're freaking. Uh, FPGA. Thank you very much. It's not the biggest stuff. Industrial I/O. Industrial I/O probably don't need. What the freaking heck is sound wire? Two pin interface, ratified MEP lines. Okay, no sound wire. Don't think we have a IO MMU, but nonetheless, very freaking. Mm, we need to disable big stuff, right? Okay, InfiniBand, don't need InfiniBand. Sound card, don't really need. I have my multifunction, where is multimedia? Should he not be somewhere on multimedia? Yeah, it's not very professional to change this in the middle of B setting, but it should be a video for Linux. It's not set and multimedia. Was it some? Multimedia, media, come on. You know what, we also don't need DRM drivers. Let's see how long this builds. Ah, oh, it's also wrong. Yeah, I should have done this in the beginning. Um, it would have scaled so much more. It's of course not the most, I still, like, usually don't do this, right? And dude, in the beginning, I, I underestimated that, right? I thought more stuff would not rebuild. Interesting email. Who is this? Uh, um, hey, we were accepted somewhere. Next step is. Amazing. Um, thanks for that acceptance. Shouldn't shout out too much things here on 
live on YouTube. Amazing. Um, happy to use it. So, uh, we are rebuilding. We probably should do something productive, not only watch kernel logs. What else can we do? Um, it's like, yeah, it's, first I say let's better concentrate. It's like, yeah, getting bored. And it's like, what can we fix? Uh, da, 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 da. Lip tool fix lip tier for clang, lip tier for tool. Ah, did we, did I? I think clang I, f actually we should check if package config. All ah, right, um, uh, maybe I meant the first creation. Uh, here, try to avoid index dips. Um, filter um, S O I filter libraries. Uh, I, have, I now have already completely cheap idea how to do that. Um, uh, Volgrind does not find chilipsy symbols anymore. Uh, this is fixed. I had this twice in my to do. Yeah, I think next uh, did we oh, didn't plug in the USB port, man. Oh, did I not rebuild? I'm getting better rebooting before we. It's freaking windy. Very wet and windy week in Berlin. Ah, switching. I'm so used to switching to the other video input. <laughs> Can't get this habits out of. So the last was good. Let's see how this is going. But this is also, as I said in the introduction, right? this is how much is changing in kernel. And okay, that is working. You see there, x3 slash boot, that is working. Git status, revert all this good stuff. Um, so that's good. 100 set, 123 left, yay. Um, repatch. And eval. And as you see from the rebuild, right? Normally you would, you would think not so much rebuilds, but um, quite a lot rebuilds. Did we disable audio? We didn't disable audio. Huh? That was... Uh, Okay, let's continue some other work. Um, so theoretically that is done, although there's still some bug, but I will probably improve grub what? Sometimes I need to write longer to do myself. Improve grub config road, what do I mean with that? Uh, maybe UUID, maybe? Not really sure what I, ah, no, I mean, oh no. Um, um, Actually, we could do that now, moving into uh, entry, whatever that is called. Was it menu entry or whatever this is? Could do that now. Grab auto, partition and free space, uh, global remove. GLP local time zones, not really sure. Question mark, someone like OpenBSD did this, right? Or whoever did this. Build time ETA, hey, we've done that. But you know what, let's add a, do I have a percentage? No, let's add a new to do. I personally want a build target percentage. Uh, what else do we have here? Fix if this create now. Fix auto partitioning to work in a minute RD with less. Okay. So much to do, man. Yeah, maybe not. You know what? Maybe should I. Um, so it's, yeah, that's basically how you're doing it. Um, 
Should I do I have the USB? No, I don't have the USB thing in there yet. Maybe I should, as it's not the most entertaining. Stop the live stream and make a second one. That would probably be most commercial viable. Probably should disable like IPv6 and net filter and sound drivers. Yeah, but as I said in the beginning, I find it really mind-boggling how much stuff is changing, right? And a lot of this stuff is just cleanups, moving stuff around. And 20 years ago, I was also naive and thought it's a good thing. Like 20 years, I was proud, like, hey, we clean up, like, in the Linux, unlike Windows and Mac OS, where we keep strange APIs for decades, in the Linux kernel, we clean up stuff when we don't like it, but after 25 years, like basically basically 20 years later, I have to say, it is really annoying and wastes everyone's time. I wish this KXX stuff would be a little faster, or, or P3 to refresh it, P3, okay, that's broken, where are we getting this, that's broken, we're on the good. Uh, if you've not seen that right, it doesn't say X3 there, so as well does USB. Oh, works. Amazing. Um, I mean, maybe USB also broke around the time. Who knows, maybe. So, git status that. So that is bad. Um, hey, there is some jelly. Gun disk, B cache del gun disk. So it sounds like stuff. <laughs> um, getting in the right direction. So B sect bed, uh, repatch, rebuild, rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's basically part one. Maybe I go live then in 20 minutes. Probably makes no sense to live stream here. Another 20 minutes of this. Let's better discuss it in 20 minutes. Like discuss and fix the result in 20 or 30 minutes or 40 whenever, whenever we're done. That's basically how you bit, get bisect. If you want to see more of this, I bisected better if as like a 20 times or up to 20 times 20x better if as performance regression like this on latest and greatest, greatest epic thread ripping Ryzen a year ago. If you want to see latest and greatest um, x86 mainline stuff and better if as stuff that really affected everyone, including shortcasted on some, some new sites. And if you want to support this daily and excessive open source support stuff here, then you can Patreon, OnlyFans, GitHub sponsors, a YouTube membership, um, super thanks and chat, or otherwise just share, like, subscribe, and, and spread the word to your friends and neighbors and other new sites. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. Um, one last question, Carlos, asks, you think T2 for daily use is fine? I use T2 or I use use its predecessor, Rock Linux and T2 daily for everything, uh, but, the, but the kitchen sink for daily life for 25 years. Um, it's an expert system, just like Gen2. Um, so I, I would, on a difficulty scale, I would probably say about Gen2 difficulty level. Yes, it's not for everyone. We probably, leave in the comments below, maybe we need to make an end user easy edition. That's it for this live stream. Have a good day and night, and I hope to see you soon for the results and some time to come.